Do you think the movement is the same? Several months into her pregnancy, Alini Perez faced a crisis. She didn't have health insurance, and as a new immigrant, she didn't qualify for government assistance. It's very complicated to have a baby without insurance. It's very hard. Unable to pay for a doctor, Perez eventually found this clinic, which works with charities. She believes without it, her unborn baby may be at risk. If you need a midwife to answer number. your questions, call this one. Such cases are common. A 2008 report blames America's high infant mortality rate on a relatively weak social safety net, a lack of access to preventive care, and high poverty rates. Studies also show racial bias may play a role. For example, the U.S. government says the infant mortality rate for African-American babies is almost twice as high as for their white counterparts. Big fish, yes. Months ago, two doctors told Sonia Lindo she wasn't pregnant. I honestly think that they thought I was joking, and I wasn't. In pain, she finally went to a hospital, where she learned she was more than seven months into her term. If I knew what I knew now, I would have had all the premedical care I could get. But I couldn't do nothing because I didn't know. Lots of vegetables. Do you yeah. eat your vegetables, honey? Yeah. The Centers for Disease Control says African-American mothers are twice as likely as white women to receive late or no prenatal care. We have a system of care that is very inequitable. So if you're low income, um, if you're of color, if you're uninsured, you are likely going to have a different level of care which results in these poor outcomes. The U.S. government says it's working to make quality care available to low-income women. It funds state-run perinatal programs to help reduce infant deaths. We're working with parents and through our home visiting programs to make sure that they're getting the education and support and linkage to resources to have a healthy baby. The juice choose like a cranberry juice instead of orange, right? Meanwhile, Sonia Lindo knows the risks to her unborn child are far from over, having received no prenatal care until now. But she's hopeful with the right help her baby won't become one of the tens of thousands that die each year in the U.S. before their first birthday. Steve Moore, TRT World, Orlando, Florida.